Hi, this is Annelie. Today I'm going to show you an easy distress technique that you can do on a on any piece of wood. I've got a joint compound or a polyfilla or whatever you can you call it in your country. It's those things that you use to fill your cracks with. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take this on a scraper. You can use any type of scraper you have. And I'm just going to put the joint, the, 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 the texture paste or joint, joint compound, sorry, uh, onto my wooden board or what, the, I don't know, you can do whatever you would like to do here, yeah? use it on. So I'm just going to put it everywhere, just a thin layer, Just when you just want to make sure you get it everywhere. And then you're just going to take your scraper and scrape some off. And you can scrape off as many as you like or as much as you like. You can see this wood has got a very fine, um, it's not very uh, rustic or so. So you can almost get like a type of a whitewashed effect. I will show you on a little piece of wood that's a little bit more rough but you can see the difference actually I'm just going to take this one and flip it over and do it on the other side uh, I like a little bit more so what you can do is you can just go and put a little bit more onto areas there you, where you want it and you can see it, it really looks nice give you that whitewashed feeling you can even put a little bit more let it dry slightly and take it off with a, a piece of um, sanding paper now I haven't got a piece of uh, rusted rusty barn effect piece of wood I've just got this flat piece here so I'm just going to make some grooves in it uh, you just go along with the grain and um, hopefully it, I can show you the process there so I just want to rub it up a little bit okay you can see I roughed up with the little a lot. I, I even took, let me just show you, I even took this small hammer and I just put a few dents in it and then I just scraped it again with the scraper. You can go like that and then you can just take a piece of your wood away there. Uh, you can go over with a slight sandpaper just to take off the pieces that can maybe go, you know, the splinters that can maybe go into your hand. And then I'm just going to take my spackle or what, what you can call it, it doesn't really matter, just again. And I'm going to put it onto my wood. And then you can just scrape off as much as you like. Uh, if it's too much for you, you can even um, take out some of those areas that you don't want the white in too much. And then you can just take off as many as you want. 
but I like a little bit more so I'm just gonna put a little bit back What also looks nice is if you can maybe um, stain this at the back. If you want to, let me show you in another video that where I maybe make a frame or something. Just comment in the comment section below and then uh, I can show you how I stain it and how I make a nice frame. So I just scrape back and forth as much as I like if I want the wood. To show a little bit more you can just scrape a little bit away you can even if this is dry take your sandpaper and just take off a few of the pieces that you don't like I'm just gonna quickly let this dry and then I'll show you okay now you can see this is the one with the that I made the grooves and stuff and weave it up a bit my wood so it looks actually very nice if you've got a nice weathered um, piece of wood that's got a lot of cracks and everything. You can see, um, I think there was water now because I wiped it off with a wet wipe. You can see you almost get a whitewash effect on this side and then there you get this more weathered look. So I hope you enjoyed it and, and as I said if you want to see something in the comments <laughs> Just drop, drop me a comment if you want to see something else. Um, and yeah, you can make nice stuff with these things. You can even decoupage on top of this. You can paint on top of this. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do. So uh, you must have a lovely day and I will see you next time.